Hey, hey, hey there, my Tyler Perry sisters fans. It's your girl, Barbie J here with another quick video about one of our favorite shows, Sisters. And this is about season six of Sisters. Now, we all were fooled. We were all fooled with those uh, early pics from TV line showing Karen laying on the floor, staring um, next to a fire extinguisher and staring into a her shop, I guess it was a hair salon. And we thought all of that was going to happen at the end of, you know, we thought that was going to be a cliffhanger at the end of season five, but it wasn't. So we know now it's going to happen in season six and everybody has been speculating. And that's what this video is about. Everybody's speculating how did this fire start? So some are saying that Pam left a curling iron on and da 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 da. And some are saying it might be that crazy lady that um was there with Aaron. So let's 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 break this down. Tyler Perry has been showing us this whole thing with Karen reminding Pam to cut off the curling iron. And Pam keeps saying, I do it. I got it. I know it. She keeps saying it every episode. I, you, you, she, Karen's like, you didn't send me the screenshot. You didn't show me the video. You didn't. So it's making it look like here it is. Pam did it. Pam forgot once again. But why would she have Pam working with her if Every day, every time she leaves, she's forgetting that she got to keep reminding her. So that's making it too obvious for us, right? So that's why y'all know Tyler Perry doesn't work like that. So I don't think it's Pam. I really don't think it's Pam. Then he shows us in this last episode, the crazy chick that's supposed to be Aaron's girlfriend. She thinks she's Aaron's girlfriend. I'm thinking myself. And some others of us that she's just a patient. She's one of his crazy patients who done fell in love with him after he's been trying to help her. He might be like a savior to her. And she felt like they had a relationship and that they're a couple now or something. That's what I'm thinking she is. And now she's mad at, you know, he, he runs to the precinct to report her. That's why I'm thinking she must be some kind of sick patient. And that's why he has to report it. So, but some people thinking it was probably her because she's mad. She thinks he's dating Karen and cheating on her. And she done went back there to hurt him, to, I mean, hurt her, to burn down her shop because she knows where it is, how she found it. Everybody finds Karen so quick and it's amazing in this, this show. So let's think about that. Doesn't that seem like it's too obvious to that it could possibly be her who did it. She came back and she's getting even with Aaron. And that's how I know it was her. You know, this is what a lot of people are saying. That's what we're thinking. Because she's crazy. And then it was something about a body was found in there also. I don't know whose body, but whose body could it be? Who else would be in Karen's shop? I hope it's not Pam. No, it can't be Pam. Because... They, Karen wouldn't be out there saying, I lost everything. She would be crying over Pam being gone. So it's not Pam's body. Maybe the body they're talking about was, uh, was Karen, but they got her out. Like a body's in there, but they got her out and saved her. I don't know. She had the fire extinguisher, so she was obviously trying to put out the fire. But my thinking is, those are the two obvious people. My thinking is, Karen forgot to turn off something. Karen was so upset about Aaron and this girl and everything that's going on. Did we actually see her leave Pam there to close up? Because we know they had an appointment to meet at Danny's house that night. So maybe she was concerned about meeting at Danny's house and Karen herself forgot to turn off something. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking it's not going to be so obvious as who we think it is. And it might be Karen's fault this time. She made the mistake 
she was rushing out so they can help Danny. She had other things on her mind, thinking about Aaron and this crazy chick and the chick calling him John. Who's John? Am I dating a crazy person? Who am I pregnant by? Is my baby by the John? Is it by Zach? Is, you know, she has a lot of things on her mind. So I'm thinking I could be wrong, y'all. But it's my opinion. It's my two cents about it. I'm truly thinking that Karen is the one who left something on or failed to turn something off or whatever it is. And she burned down her own shop. So y'all let me know down in the comment section what y'all think about that. And for those of you who haven't subscribed to my channel, please take a moment now. Hit that subscribe button. I need 250 more subscribers to reach my goal of 2,000 by my birthday. So please help me out. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Like, like, thumbs up, thumbs up. Comment, comment. All right. And your girl Barbie J will see you in the next video. Peace.